Hey everyone, it's Jessica from Pisa Books and welcome to a vlog I've never done before. I'm a little nervous, but my friend Tori from Novel Life is doing this, and I've seen that this kind of become a trend, and it is a monthly reset vlog. So I am currently in my library. It's dark though, it's freezing outside, and it's only five o'clock. I do have some things I want to get done. I need to declutter. I have laundry to put away. I have boxes that I got from PR packages to like break down and put away. And I want to do something with a TBR cart. And I want to start decorating my library for Christmas in my office area. So when I was at Tori's, we decorated her office space and her library because I went there last week and she's actually visiting. I also just need to do a lot of organizing in that spot because she's coming on Friday. And and I was FaceTiming her the other day and she was like, you have a lot of stuff. And I was like, I'm aware I have a lot of stuff. I have been blogging since 2011. So I, oh, for over a decade, I've been in the book community receiving books for things. And I need to do a separate video of just like unhauling a bunch of books from my library. But right now is not the time for Lexus to be way, way, way too long because I can show you. I, this is my stack of books I have. These are right here is like my haul books but like all of these are ones that literally just like can't fit in shelves i'm aware i have too many books i have these shelves here and these shelves here and a shelving area out there i was considering putting another shelf in my loft where my office area is but we're gonna see so i am going to first step put laundry away that is my goal for right now and then i will gather well how about this i'm gonna gather my tbr books first i've already filmed my tbr it's up on my channel i have about 10 books that i really want to get to so we are going to put them all on my tbr cart because when i am looking for a book to read i want to be reminded what i put on my tbr so i want to have like consistent books that I'm like, oh, that's right. I need to read that. And this is out by my office area. So I know I have to read them. Some are not on my actual TBR, but they're going to go over there anyways. So let me see if there's anything else I need to pick out that I want to get to before the end of the year. These are just like hopeful, hopefully. Oh yeah. I need to do this one. If you want to see my full vlog talking about these, you can go look at it. But I think, oh, that one too. I think that's my stack. I'm going to leave it there and now I'm going to put my laundry away. I have actually two closets because it's actually two bedrooms. This is one bedroom in my house and then my other bedroom is my actual bedroom. So I have a closet in here that has my dresses and my dresser and then my other closet that's basically for shirts and sweatshirts. And yes, I have a god awful amount of sweatshirts that you will see in a second. Excuse the mess, I know. These are all books I need to rehome, get rid of. I had a bunch of photos printed from recently, like the summer and Vegas, and I want to put them into my frames. I have six frames that need photos. I have these three, and then I have these three, which are already open, which I'll show you when they're all complete. And my sister got a wrapping paper cutter that I now have up here. This is my crochet hook holder that is new. I have to figure out where I wanna put this from Taylor's concert. So I'm, I'm cleaning things up over here, but I'm going to put these here because 
up here I have like my author photos so I'm gonna add some here and see how it looks So these two for sure are going to go above on the author one. These might go in my library, my bedroom, and I don't know where I want to put them with my sister. We'll see. And I think this one will go on the author one as well or in my bedroom. We shall see. Okay, we are gonna tackle the ugly corner of my loft. So I keep all these boxes for shipping purposes, but I know it drives my sister crazy and Tori was appalled when she saw it. So I'm gonna move some of them under here. This is like storage. I do have my sewing machine. This is where, when I had my Etsy shop. I don't have time for that anymore. Maybe one day I will in some knitting stuff. I do have lights out because I filmed stuff for Artemis, so I need to keep those out. So I want to make it look a little less cluttered So we're gonna move all of that under here get rid of those boxes and organize Okay, so I took my ironing board down. That's all clear. I definitely wanna organize that better. It's just stuff. I have my Cricut. I should move my Cricut up on top of there where all those book sleeves are, but we will see. So now I have boxes under here instead of <laughs> against the wall. I've moved the box lights over there just so that they're out of the way, but I do have this whole wall clear now. Still gonna work on clearing that off, but. Um, this definitely looks a lot better not having a wall of boxes behind me. So I'm loving that. I do have some stuff set up here that I want to work with you. I just was watching Tori's reset because I told her I was like, send me yours so I know what I'm doing because she's done this a couple times, but I have some Christmas stuff that I want to set out. So I do have, I don't know where I want to put these around my desk somewhere, but my sister pulled up some lights from downstairs for me. And we have some star lights, which I felt like could look cute around the base of my computer. Okay. We've got lights that turn on with the battery pack. So I was thinking, let's show you. I was going to set it just and tuck the battery pack back here and set this kind of where this is an around poo. Tori walked through. I don't know what I just dropped. Oh, that screw thing. She walked through. I actually don't know if I like it there. It seems cluttered. Where else would I put this though? Oh, I could put it on my TBR cart. Let me move this over there. All right, I just made it over there. So Tori did talk a little bit about her content for the rest of the year. I think she's doing Vlogmas. 
I am maybe doing vlogmas. So I have a list. This is my notebook that I keep all my video ideas, everything notes for my work, like everything goes in here for anything bookish. So I always have this with me. Even like my packing list is in here. Um, I watched a course on Facebook ads, so all that's in here. I have like my video lists, stuff like that. So I have a list going for videos I wanna do for Vlogmas. I only have three. I have top 10 books of the year, favorite new authors, favorite book from each month. I'm already doing the 20 books for the Goodreads Choice Awards that should have been in there. That's gonna go up on the first. I could do a 2024 reset video, that would be fun maybe a top 20 for 2024 that I have to read, though I'm like really, really, really bad with PBRs. I do want to read the romanticy picks for the Good Resource Awards. I usually do the um, top 20 or the top 10 of the romance category every year, but I'm not impressed with that list. I've read half of them and the other half I'm not even interested in reading other than like one or two, so I'm not gonna read those. I was like, I don't need to read these. So looking at the new romance category, I actually have four, if you guys saw on my TBR cart, I think I have four of them from that list that I really wanna get to, so I will be doing that. And I do a couple other videos. I think sometimes I do top book boyfriends of the year. I did that with Tori last year. I don't remember if it was on her channel or my channel. I do all these top videos. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I do wanna do a Christmas reading vlog and a, oh, I just did reading twice. Um, Crescent City one vlog where I annotate it because we're doing a read along for the new one coming out. So those are so far what I can do for vlogmas slash bookmas. And I will be coming up with like a whole list and I'm gonna post it to my Patreon so they can see like my entire plan for the month. I don't know if I'll get to 31 videos, <laughs> we'll see. I have to look at what I've done last year and see what I have. But I do have my planner out as well. So I might start writing down some things I have going on. We'll do some planning. Okay, so I have done a couple things in my planner. I actually planned out the first through the seventh at least of videos. And then I do have a collab I'm doing with Samantha from Books with Samantha. I just texted her asking her when we're gonna do that. And then I will start filling in the rest. I don't know when I can get vlogs done. I usually over overestimate how quickly I can read books, but that is all the content I usually plan ahead for is at least a week ahead. So at least I have a week ahead for there. I was also writing down my podcast episodes with Tori that we have. We have this week, we already did. The fourth we've already filmed and the 18th we've already filmed. So we just have to pick topics for the 11th and the 25th that we wanna be posted up there. And then I was thinking for Patreon, I could do a wrap presents with me vlog and a cozy mystery reading vlog and baking something with a cozy mystery. So yeah, I just wanna put up a couple Christmas decorations and then this vlog is going to be what it is. I do have a lot of different vlogs I wanna film though, like Christmas romances the fantasy one, Crescent City. I'm gonna do a clear on my shelves and unhaul books vlog. So lots of more behind the scenes content for you guys coming your way, but let's go ahead and put up some decorations. Cause I have this I'm gonna put up here. I ordered pink tinsel for my library, which is not here yet. Tori and I decided together we wanted to do it and we weren't going to not do it cause the other one was doing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this up. All right, that's what we have so far. I don't know if it'd be too much to try to do more like that maybe i do like that better we'll we'll figure that out but so far that's the that's the tinsel there i do have lights but i don't know yes they are in lily's dog bed sometimes i stick things in here and then she comes up and wants to lay in here and gets so mad but i've got some lights don't know what i want to do with those but i did put these here and turn them on and they light up hi 
I was cut off because my battery died. However, I wanted to come on here because it is the end of the month and I thought it'd be fun during these like reset vlogs to check out books from Hoopla because I get 20 books a month from Hoopla. Do I listen to 20 books a month? Absolutely not. However, I have 17 books left to take out on Hoopla this month. I did travel a little bit, so I didn't read as much on audio as I normally do, and I have a lot on Libby that I have out. So let's look at Hoopla and see what I can take out. So I do have Resisting the Grump by Ashley Munoz, which I had borrowed before. So I'm looking through ones that have lapsed that I'm interested in because I read her new motorcycle romance and it is so good. So we have 16 left to take out. Ashley Munoz though does have a baseball romance. So I might want, it's called Wild Card. Let's go ahead and borrow that as well. Oh, Marley Valentine has ache. I have not read that yet. Let's go ahead and borrow that. That's only seven hours. I don't think I've read this yet. Um, I've read a couple of her other ones. Then I do know Rachel Reed has her Time to Shine, I think, that's on here. So hopefully, yes, Time to Shine is on here. This one is a M.M. Wintery Romance. So obviously I want to get to that one as well. And I think that Anna Huang's other series is on here, her first series, her If Love series. I've been wanting to read that. Obviously, I'm not going to listen to all of these books because I'm not going to listen to 17 audiobooks in one month. I wish I could, but I'm just not reading as much as I used to because of my new job and I just work all the time now. I don't know how to stop. So working from home is a little bit hard because I literally will just work all day and I have so much to do all the time, which is good, but also I, I, I work a lot. So, ooh, love on deck. Fake dating enemies to lovers with forced proximity and an HEA. It's a modern romance and it has small town Texas that's cozy. Sure. Let's go ahead and borrow that one. The cover's cute, so we're gonna we're gonna request it. What else is there? We have oh plot twist by Aaron De La Rosa is on here. That one looked super cute. That is recently came out as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and borrow that. I'm just on their homepage at this point, scrolling to see what's featured. I don't know. Oh, they have recommended to me based on what I've read, um, but they're all authors that I've read before. Oh, there's the, I want to read this series by Charmaine Pauls, but I don't know what is book one. Oh, that's book three. Um, the covers are really pretty. Let's go to the author and Love Like Poison is book one and it's Mafia Arranged Marriage. We're going to borrow that and we'll see if I like that one. Oh, she has a ton out on... Okay, well, hopefully I like her because she has a ton there. Oh, Mangoes and Mistletoe. Have I read this one? I don't know if I've read this one. I feel like I did read it. I don't remember. That's the Holiday Romance. Holidays on Hoopla. Just what I want. Ooh, The Twelve Books of Christmas. The Christmas Catch by Claire Lydon. British Sapphic Romance. Okay, obviously I'm going to download that one. That looks so good. And we have The Holiday Mix-Up by Ginny Baird. Borrow that one. I don't know how many I have left. I've been borrowing left and right. They do have the Christmas swap, which I'm actually listening to on Libby right now. The Gingerbread House in Mistletoe Gardens. Local Baker, and he's a local builder. We're gonna borrow this one too. I wanna listen to so many Christmas romances. Okay, how many do I have left to get? I have so many books out. I have six more that I can I can go for. The Christmas Tart by Mary Jo Putney. Oh my gosh, we have so many. Let's go ahead and look at all of these. Okay, let's see if um, Catherine Walsh has hers on here, her new one. No. Who else had, oh, Carrie Winfrey had her Christmas romance. I don't know if that would be on here. I think that's going to be, nope. Okay, let's just go back to looking at the recommended stuff. New York Times bestsellers. I mean, I could honestly stop at 11 books because I'm not gonna listen to all of these. We know I'm not gonna listen to all of these. Let me just type in Christmas. Or who is that author? Jennifer Snow. I really liked the one I read by her last year. Let's see how many audios we have. We have a lot of eBooks. Do we have any audiobooks for it? Oh, we do. I have already read an Alaskan Christmas. I think I already read Alaska for Christmas, and I think you read a lot like Christmas. Did I read all of her Christmas romances? <laughs> oh, I think I did. Um, we have Jacqueline Snow. 
No, they don't have her. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do N R Walker. I listened to Tic Tac Mistletoe. I want to see if this author has any more on here. Oh, they do. Okay. So we have Christmas wish list. Oh, the kite is what Desiree wanted me to read. I'm going to borrow that. And Desiree loves N.R. Walker. I think Galaxies and Oceans was the other one that she wanted me to read. But we have Christmas wish list. Small town. Okay. I'm going to borrow that. Looks good. And how many do I have left? Four left. I've downloaded 12 books right now from Hoopla. I'm definitely, oh, we have um, the next book in the Penelope Black series. Yes, please. Rush. I read Black. Not Black. I don't remember the first one was called. I read it and I liked it. Um, Wolf was really good. Oh, there's only three of them. Should I just go ahead and download the third one too? We're gonna download the third one too. I'm not gonna read all of these, but I don't like leaving my credits unwasted. They're not like credits, but like the borrows because they're gonna reset in two days. So... I think I'm good. I only have two more left, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen out. I'm gonna call it a day there. So I have now downloaded all the books I can, except for I think one from Hoopla. I am so lucky to get 20 books from there. It's not normal, I'm aware. But that is my monthly reset. So I'm feeling so much better that my loft area is clean. And I have actually, I edited my a video for Friday, which I really need to get done. It's only Tuesday, so I'm way ahead of the game for that. And I also have more Vlogmas ideas that I have written down. I started planning the first week of December, so we'll see how long Vlogmas actually lasts. But I'm feeling really good about being a little bit more organized in my home and ready for Tori to come. I need to make sure I have clean things for her when she comes. We already have like towels set out and I just have to change sheets on some beds and go through my library, which maybe I'll do when she's here. That might actually be fun, going through my library while she's here and doing a whole unhaul video. We'll see. But I definitely wanna do a 2024 reset where I chat about like goals for the year and preparing for the new year. But let me know if you've enjoyed this video and if you want me to do these kinds of videos again, I would love to hear. And that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.